Hey artists, today we are continuing working on our Ashley Mary inspired collage. Um, remember friends, a collage is when you take sheets of paper, cut them out and put them together, glue them down to make a new artwork. Um, so the very first thing that we <clears throat> were doing is we were filling out our imagination workout um, and we were supposed to fill out each box with a different organic shape. Remember, an organic shape is a shape that doesn't necessarily have a name, but oftentimes these shapes can be found in nature. Now, I have filled out my entire imagination workout um, with different organic shapes. Um, right here, you can see that on this one, I wrote the word no, because there's a lot of lines that are going through the shapes. So in this particular case, it kind of looks a little bit more like a mix between a line and a shape and because we don't want to get confused um, I want for you if you have something like this I want for you to turn it into an actual shape a shape should be something with nothing in the middle and it's just the lines around the edges like that so if you have something like this you can either erase the lines that are intersecting or just draw a whole new one. Um, now, <clears throat> I've filled up my entire imagination workout with as many different organic shapes as I can. Once you are done filling out yours, what I want for you to do um, is I want for you to pick your top around five favorite ones and then I want for you to just put like a little star or like a little snowflake next to your very favorite ones this is gonna help you get started on your um, actual project because you're gonna know okay these are the five that I want to start with first do you have to start with these no you can do something different that's totally fine um, once you are done doing all of your imagination workout and you have done um, one, two, three, four, let's say five little snowflake stars next to your favorites, please bring it to me so that I can check it and make sure that you have the right idea. Once I check your um, imagination workout, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make sure everything is correct and I'm gonna give you a, oops, not with that one. I'm gonna give you a star up at the top of your paper and once you get your star, that means that you are ready to begin on your actual project so you should get like a little star from me that means you are ready to go so you're gonna use your imagination workout for inspiration so I'm just gonna take my imagination workout I'm gonna set it right over there to the side um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick one color paper now some of the papers like this paper right here is pink on both sides so it doesn't really matter which side you decide to draw on but there are other papers like this one right here where it's blue on one side but white on the other so for something like this we want to go ahead and draw on the back of it so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to, mm, I think I'm going to do this shape right here. So, friends, you want to make the biggest shape that you can. You want to fill the entire paper. You should not be drawing any teeny tiny little shapes. Now, when I do my shape, I'm just kind of copying it the best that I can. It does not have to be perfect. And after you draw your shape, I want you to write your name in the middle of it. Um, after you do that, you're going to go ahead and get your scissors and cut it out. Let's see, I'm going to cut mine out. And something that's kind of cool about cutting out your paper um, it, or your organic shapes is that sometimes some of the scraps that you have left over will actually make a beautiful organic shape just the scraps itself so cut out your shape and look to see if your scraps will make an organic shape So 
I've got my shape cut out. I've got my name on the back. Here's the front of my shape. And I'm going to look at my scraps. And do I see something here that can make an organic shape? Yeah, actually, I think this would make a really nice organic shape. So instead of throwing it away, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim this up. And you can either trim it or you can draw on the back of it. It's completely up to you, whatever you feel most comfortable doing. Um, I think I'm just going to trim mine And here, out of the scraps, I've created another organic shape. What you're gonna do is you're gonna keep making as many organic shapes as you can. Please remember to keep your work area clean. Um, when you have a clean work area, that allows you to focus on your project and keep a clear mind. So, friends, you're gonna just keep making your organic shapes, and when it comes time, to um, use your patterned paper, um, what you're going to do is you're going to fold your patterned paper and then I want you to open it up and I want you to cut right there on that crease and then we're going to do basically the same thing. We're going to turn it around and we're going to draw an organic shape on the back of it. So I think for this one, I'm just going to do this organic shape right here. Um, and we're just going to try to make it big. And then I'm going to write my name and I'm going to cut it out. And after you cut your organic shape, you should always be searching to see if your scraps will make another organic shape. If you feel like they will not, then you go ahead and throw them away. I feel for me, these scraps could possibly make another organic shape, but for right now, I'm just gonna set that to the side. Um, now, you're gonna continue to do this, and as you are making your organic shapes, you wanna keep in mind what colors you're choosing. You want for your colors, um, of the solid color paper to look really nice with the patterned paper that you created. And as you are cutting out all of your organic shapes, you can go ahead and start placing them on your white paper. Um, this is going to help you kind of know what your finished project is going to look like, kind of help you plan it out. I've got a couple of different organic shapes here that I've cut out already. You can make some overlap if you want. Um, so for this one right here, I see that I have kind of like a little point and you know what? I think that that would look nicer if I rounded it out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and round that out. Remember to keep your work area clean. You can put your scraps into the trash. There you go. Um, and what I have noticed also is that some of the pencil marks show through the paper. So when you're doing your drawing, please try to draw super lightly so that those marks don't show through. Um, you're also going to get some patterned um paper. So I've cut that out already. I've got my name on the back. Set that there. Here's another one where I've got cut that out, this pattern paper. And um, for this one, I kind of have it going off of my paper because maybe I will decide to cut that off. All right. You're just kind of playing with it, seeing what works, seeing what you like, making sure that the color choices that you made are the ones that you actually want on your paper. 
All right, and so for me, I think that this looks good. You are the artist, it's completely up to you. You get to decide um, when you like your um, actual artwork, when you feel like it is finished, it's up to you. Um, now, what you're gonna do, once you have the layout that you like, you're going to take your shapes. You're going to set them to the side. You never want to put glue on top of your white paper because it's going to get glue on your artwork and you don't want that. Um, oh, and you know what? Before you glue anything down, we need to make sure that we have an artist's signature on our paper. An artist's signature is a reminder of when we made our artwork and who made the artwork. So for me, I'm going to, in my very best handwriting right here on my bottom right hand side, I am going to write my name and I'm going to take my time and I'm going to make sure that it's a good size where everyone can see it. And today, or the year is 20. 21. So you're going to write your name and the year. After you've got that done, you're going to go ahead and start gluing your pieces down. You can keep rearranging these as many times as you feel, as many times as you'd like, until it just feels finished to you, until you like it. Um, now, I do have some extra shapes, and if you have extra shapes, that's okay. You don't have to use all of the shapes that you've created. Um, you're going to go ahead and get your glue stick and you only want to open um, a little bit of glue. You don't want a whole bunch of glue sticking out. Um, when you do your gluing, um, remember friends, you want to make sure that you're not gluing on top of your artwork. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my imagination workout and I'm going to use that. Um, now, when you do your gluing, you always, always, always want to go around the edges of your shape and then fill it in in the middle. You need to make sure that you put a good bit of glue so that it will stick. So take your time, put a good bit of glue, and make sure that it sticks. And then give it a nice massage. So I'm going to do the same thing for my pink shape. I'm going to turn it around. I'm going around the edges as close as I can to the edges. And I'm going around it a couple of times. And then I'm going to fill it in with glue. Please be careful because look at how this is twisting up. Be careful to not rip your paper, just kind of hold it down. And give that a nice massage. If you get some wrinkles in there, you can just kind of rub them out. Just do the best that you can. You don't want to do this quickly. You want to take your time to make sure that it's sticking. This is your masterpiece, so take your time. I'm going to do one last one. I'm going to do this one, this yellow shape. And again, we're going around the edges. Go slowly around the edges of your shape and then fill it in with your glue. Always try to remember to choose colors that you think look beautiful together. Don't just choose a random color. Take your time. Do the outlines with uh, glue and then do the inside with glue. Take your time and massage that shape down.
and you want to glue the entire thing and once everything is glued down then that means that you are finished with your Ashley Mary inspired artwork. Alright guys, have fun!